What's up, everybody? I uh, just want to say hi to my fans, old and new, and my supporters. Um, just want to check in with you guys with a quick video blog, just let you know how things are going. Um, training itself is actually going amazingly well um, at this part of the season. We're really still early in training, haven't done much speed work yet, and I feel my speed is, is at a place where it hasn't been in the past. Um, and I even ran a 60 um, in my first competition. I have that video. I think I posted that somewhere. So it was really good, and uh, training is going great. I actually just got back from France at a competition out there on Tuesday night, uh, the Meeting Pas de Calais in uh, Lievin, France to be exact. It wasn't Paris, so, uh, but it was still still pretty exciting. I, still, I, I, like, I like traveling, I like getting out to France. I like using my French, which I don't get to use at all when I'm over here, so I know I need more practice when I like getting out there to, to get that practice in. Um, the competition itself, it, it was all right. It went pretty well. Could have been better, but it could always be worse. I came out healthy, so that's a blessing. I can't complain. Um, and the, the meet itself was really just a systems check, just to see where I was as far as training, see how everything felt, see how I would respond to some great competition, um, because the field was really a great field. And, um, and the only thing that I feel didn't go as planned was my approach. So now I've got two or three weeks before the World Indoor Championships to work on my approach and to really get it sharp. Um, and, and that's fine because we have we've already probably done uh, one day of, of approach work this this season, and really we're still laying the base. We're, we're laying the base for what's to come this summer, and the indoors are just preparation for the outdoor season. And even if it's a world indoor championship, it's still just preparation, just building steps for the outdoor season. So uh, my goal, though, um, my ultimate goal in March is to check back in with you guys, whether from Istanbul or when I get back to the states, to let you know that. I'm a world championships finalist, and whether it's indoor or outdoors, I feel like that's a big feat, that's a, a big accomplishment, and that'd be a great stepping stone for me going into London, you know, to make this world championship finals in Turkey, and then um, I'll have that under my belt, and that experience under my belt, and can use that and, and build off of that out in London in August. Um, so I'm just going to be working. Um, after this, this meeting in France, I've got some feedback, and I'm just going to work and to sharpen things up for the, for that indoor world championships in about three eh, three weeks and change, maybe a little bit less than three weeks. So I'm um, gonna be heading out there and just um, look, I'm looking for a PR. You know, I know a PR made the finals, and I've actually PR'd in every indoor season for the past four or five seasons. So um, once will the workouts start to sharpen up, get a little bit sharper, a little bit more crisp, um, I know those big jumps are coming. It's gonna come just in time since my next competition is the World Indoor Championship. So I'm looking forward to that and everything's going well. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys actually is the fact that I have two uh, big additions to the lane train going uh, into London this summer as far as sponsorships and partnerships are concerned. The first is Muscle Milk um, and I'm pretty excited about that. I want to give them a huge thanks because uh, I had a big surprise on my doorstep when I got back from workout, a workout last week. Um, I had a few cases of Muscle Milk on my doorstep and uh, it was a big help last week, and I know it's going to be, be a big help going forward as far as uh, fueling me through workouts and helping me recover. So big thanks to them. Um, the other is actually Z Pizza, and uh, I'm very excited about that as well because I'm a big Z Pizza fan. I'm a big pizza fan in general, um, but I'm a big Z Pizza fan. And I actually moved um, to a place where there was a Z Pizza location within walking distance. And uh, during the off-season, I went in to check it out. Um, because typically I, I eat pizza uh, sparingly and usually I eat most in the off season so it was the off season I went to check out the Z pizza and to my surprise and to my benefit um, I learned that they use all natural organic ingredients um, part skin milk that comes from hormone free cows uh, no MSG pepperoni I'm, I'm a big pepperoni fan too that, that's, that's my pizza I just keep playing with the pepperoni um, so it's, it's lower fat no MSG pepperoni um, and uh, also the MSG, is horm the, the pepperoni itself is hormone free. So I was really excited, really excited about um, just the fact that there's a Z pizza so close and excited about the fact that it tastes so much better than regular pizza, which um, isn't very surprising because I try and eat, you know, all natural organic in ingredients on a regular basis, not just for the taste, but for the fact that it's really just better for me um, as, as a training full-time athlete with, with their eyes set on an Olympic medal. So, um, I reached out to Z Pizza and they were pretty excited about working with me, which is a blessing and, and I'm really looking forward to doing some big things with them uh, going forward. So I'd like to say hi to uh, all my new fans who, who um, follow my footsteps, follow my journey to and through London um, and who, you know, 
jump on board the lane train um, as a result of their being fans of Z Pizza. So um, I want to say thanks to Muscle Milk and Z Pizza. Thanks to Mizuno, who's really supported me through this past year and going into this Olympic Games. Um, and I want to say thanks to you guys, my fans and supporters who really encourage me and, and you know, just fuel me and have done so for the past years and, and are consistently doing so going forward. So I know this is going to be a great year and it's only February as far as 2012 is concerned. But uh, the Olympics are right around the corner. And um, But first things first is the World Indoor Championships. So thanks as always and uh, I'll check back with you soon.